Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Kyo Dokan. I'm Ryu Sei. Today, I'm going to introduce two dishes of winter melon. In Japan, winter melon is called togan and written by like this. Togan is one of my favorite vegetables and it is made in Miura Peninsula. Miura Peninsula is in Kanto region and Kanagawa Prefecture. Here is Kanagawa Prefecture. There are Yokohama, Hakone, and Kamakura. And Miura Peninsula is a good place for growing vegetables. And these vegetables are called Miura Asai and so loved. And these are today's dishes. First one is the restaurant quality of the dish. I'll make it as politely as possible. Second one is the homemade dish. It is good for daily dinner. In this video, I'll use uskuchi and koikuchi to these dishes. I hope you will pay attention to these differences. Yes, let's go! I'm going to cut togen into chunks. First of all, I cut off the both sides shortly and divide it into half. This togan is really fresh and nice quality. Then, I cut them into half again. Okay. And then, I remove the seed and spongy bird with a spoon. Good. Then, I peel off the skin. I'm conscious of peeling the skin as thinly as possible, because the beautiful green part is just below the skin. I do like to remain this beautiful green part so I peel off the skin thinly. Great. Nice clean color. Then I cut it into thirds. Okay. I remove the spongy bird and I trim the edges to make it a beautiful shape. This work is called mentori in Japan. Good. And I make finely cuts to absorb the taste well and eat it more comfortably. Okay, like this. At last, I cut it into bite-sized chunks. Nice, I've done everything. This cutting work applies to other ingredients. Okay, this is salt. I sprinkle salt to the green part, and I rub the salt on the surface to keep a nice green color. Good. Okay, I let it stand for 5 minutes. They absorbed the salt and became wet. Okay, I'll boil them in the ample boiling water. I add them with facing skin side down, because this side is a bit harder. So I need to make it tender. And then I turn down the heat to low. Because this nice green color is lost due to high temperatures, I keep this heat and cook them until they become tender. 8 minutes later, I'll check whether they are cooked with a bamboo score. Okay, then I'll transfer them to ice cold water as soon as possible. It's very important to chill them quickly to maintain beautiful green color. Nice, I keep them in the cold water until they are chilled. Okay, I removed them from the water. Next, I'll combine dashi and seasonings. This is 500 grams of dashi. And I add 10 grams of uskuchi. Uskuchi is essential to keep the color and bring out the flavor of the ingredient. And I add 2 pinches of salt. Okay, I'll also prepare a pack of bonito flakes. I place bonito flakes on a sheet of kitchen paper and fold it like this. Bonito flakes add umami to togen. Okay, I turn on the heat. Once dashi begins to boil, I add the togen into it. The green color can't withstand high temperatures, so I heat it for one moment. Okay, and I add the bonito flakes to extract umami. Once it begins to boil, I turn off the heat, and I transfer the pot to ice cold water quickly. We do it to keep a beautiful green curry and we hope 
You feel cool in hot summer day. When I chill it, I'll make minced shrimp sauce. First, I'll peel the shrimp shells. Okay, then I cut the backside and remove the vein. I devein carefully to make beautiful sauce. Okay, I've done three shrimps. And then I add a pinch of salt. And potato starch and sake. I rinse the shrimps with them. These ingredients help to eliminate the smell of shrimp. Okay, after that, I wash them with water. And drain in a sieve. Then I remove the excess water carefully. Okay, I'll mince the shrimps. First, I cut it into thin sticks. And I chop them finely. Nice, I've cut three shrimps. I return to Togan. Togan is chilled and absorbs the flavor well. Today, I'll use this dashi to make the sauce. So I transfer it to another pot. Okay, then I'll prepare kuzuko with water to thicken the sauce. I add a little bit of water and stir it. Nice. I turn on the heat. And I add minced shrimps to this dashi. Then I loosen the shrimp with chopsticks. I do it quickly, not to stick them. Okay, it starts to boil. I remove the foam. It's very important to make clear sauce. Then I taste it. Nice. I season it with salt and that a bit of scoochie. Finally, I pour kuzuko with water to thicken the sauce. I'll check it. A little bit runny. So I'll add it more. I recommend to add it gradually. Great. Nice thickness. Once it boils, turn off the heat and I transfer it to a container and let it cool. Okay, I arranged on a plate. I place togem. Good. And I pour minced shrimp sauce. It is well chilled. I pour the sauce on them. Nice. At last, I top grated ginger on it. Done. Simmered togan with minced shrimp sauce. Next, I'll make simmered togan with chicken wings. I'll also cut togan into chunks. I peel off the skin. I'll also cut togan into chunks. Nice. We don't need to make a finely cut and remove the edges as always. Okay, I've done cutting. Then, I'll stuff like chicken wings. I turn on the heat and add salad oil and spread it. Okay, I add chicken wings to the pot. I stuff fry them until they are slightly browned. Okay, nice browned. I add 700 grams of water. Today, I'll use dash powder and add 40 grams of mirin and 40 grams of koi kuchi. Okay, and I start it lightly. Then, I'll add togen to the pot. Good. Then, I add julienne and ginger. Okay, I mix them. And I add a bag of bonito flakes as well. I simmer it for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, this smell really stimulates our appetite. 
I'll check whether Togan becomes tender or not. Okay. I let it stand for two hours to absorb the flavor and reheated it. I arranged on a plate. I placed Togan and chicken wings. Okay, finally, I put a soup over them. Perfect. Simad Togan with chicken wings is done. Thank you, did you enjoy? Today I made two dishes using togam. First dish I used uskuji to keep a nice green color and I brought as a flavor of togam as possible. Second dish I used koikuchi to add the flavor of chicken and koikuchi to dishes. If you master these methods, you can make a wider variety of Japanese food. I wish you enjoy Japanese food more. Thank you for watching to this end. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Have a nice day. See you later.